I have a confession to make. When it comes to serger needles, I'm probably one to run it a little longer than I probably should. But I will have to say, if everything is working, I tend to just keep on going. You probably do the same. So when there is a slight hiccup with your serger, I would guarantee you probably just need a new set of needles. Remember, these are the special 2022 type serger singer needles. We do have links in the description below. But right now, I only have one needle in, and I'm gonna give you the quick tip that is so important about changing out your serger needles. So right now I only have the right needle in and I'm holding my left needle. And one of the things to keep in mind is that the needles are not at the same height. So actually the left needle goes up higher. So if you're looking at your needles and they are the same uh, height, down at the tips, we have one that's not high enough. So I always make sure that I double check and look that I've actually, when I've put my needle in flat side to the back, I've loosened that screw, I've made sure that it goes all the way up and it should go higher than the right needle. If you don't, then you're still gonna have some stitches that aren't gonna look correct. You're gonna think it's a tension adjustment that you need to change. And before you know it, you've got issues that all you had to do was actually just make sure your needles are two different heights. Another thing that I like to do when possible is like right now, if I need to change both these needles is to go ahead and take one out, put one in, check the height, then take the other one out, put it in and check the height. That way you don't accidentally get both of them out and not have something to kind of double check. So that's just a little tip for newer serger owners I do recommend. And then we do have a recommendation for a needle threader that also is in the link below. And on some needle threaders, like can you see how I'm kind of like having to really get my hands in here? There's not a lot of room. I'm kind of up against the housing here. I'm gonna tighten up this screwed and I'm, then I'm gonna look. I do see that my needle is at that higher position, but some needle threaders on the opposite end have like a little hole. So I can actually slide that up, hold this way out here, then that way I can like help make sure it gets to the highest position and see how much easier it is. My hands aren't kind of wedged underneath the serger housing. And so why don't we, now you do notice that because I only had three threads on for doing a rolled hem, which I am gonna put all my tensions kind of back to that happy middle amount here, is that I always take off the spool that is not in use. So just to make sure that none of those threads get kind of wiggled back down with their friends because it is missing playing with the with the serger. Always take off the spool when you're using it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do a quick show you how this needle threader is going to work. We also have a video specifically on the needle threader. Uh, there's a couple different kinds that you can purchase, but all in all, they have this little plunger that's going to slide down the front groove of the needle and push the thread through it, and then you can pull it out the back side. So just, keep, it's so much handier, especially because you have two needles and there's not like a needle threader on a serger. I do have to say sometimes needle threaders tend to get like in the way. So having a secondary one, that one that's just kept to the side is actually just as easy. So needle threaders work like this. Number one, there's a little marking or arrow on the top of the needle threader, and there's one 180 degrees on the other side. So as long as one of those marks is on top, you then know you're holding it correctly. You're gonna place the thread side to side in its little mouth, come straight in on the front of the needle, not to the side, but right in front, slide down, and then plunge it through. And you can see that blue loop of thread on the back side, and you can use your tweezers or your fingers if they are small enough to pull that through. And that's how easy it is to thread a needle. So that little plunger is ideal. So when you are changing needles, again, make sure that you've got them, the left one is higher than the right one, and you keep fresh needles in. We don't do a ton of sizes. So if you're doing something lighter weight, do a size 80 doing something heavier, do a size 90. That should help your serger give you good results no matter which fabrics you're sewing on. We've got all the videos we've done on this Singer Elite SE017 right here at the end. So you can start right at the beginning and master this machine all the way through.